So before we dive into Hyperion Brass Elements, I just wanted to let you know that I have a plugin and virtual instruments shop. It's called My Audio Studio, and I'm a reseller of many of the well-known brands. Now, one of those is Sound Iron. And as you can see here in the website, I have tons of their products. So if there's anything you want me to cover in this channel or you have any questions, just get in touch with me. So today we are doing the Hyperion Brass Elements, which is a wonderful brass library and it features all the usual instruments that you might find in brass productions. So I'm going to put the link in the description of this video and let's dive into it. So first of all, this is a contact library. It works both in the free player as well as the full contact. So you can definitely run this even if you don't have contact and you can download the free player from the Native Instruments website. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. When you install this, you will see that we have different libraries. We have different NKIs. So we have a separate one for the tubas and a separate one for the uh, euphoniums. And we have horns and uh, trombones. We have trumpets, but we also have the ensembles. So I'm going to show you that in a moment. Now, when we're loading anything, you will get this user interface. And let me just play something. Right, and we have different tabs. So this is the main tab, and you can see some controls on the top, like the body attack offsets of the sample. We have the release, the release sample volume and vibrato that you can inject into the sound. But we also have this big dial swell, which is also controlled by the mod wheel. And then we have the different articulations, which are actually key switches. So they start with C minus two. You, you can see right here, the sustain, and it goes on. And so each of those instruments is really not just one articulation, one sound, you have a choice which you can definitely program in your MIDI. And so this is the sustain. And then we have the multi staccato. We have a short crescendo. And Speranzo. And I'll just go through those. What else do we have in this library? And again, it might change between the different instruments. I'm going to show you all of them. And right below the articulations, we have the representation of our mode. So you can see how over time this sample is played. Now, if you want to program or change the key switches, that's super simple. Right here in the middle in this uh, uh, area, you will see this drop down and whatever key switch is selected. And right now I'm on B minus two. I can just change that to anything else. So it's really up to you to program that and to set it the way you like it. And so the other tabs that we have are effects and we have three effects. We have a filter, we have compressor, we have an EQ, and we also have some presets that you can uh, just mess around with. Right, and next we have space, which is basically either convolution or algorithmic reverb. And you can just change that right here. So we have algorithmic or convolution, and then you have the type, and you can change those spaces and the other settings for the reverb. Very simple and basic stuff. And the next we have a play assist, which will actually lock your keyboard to a scale. And we have 
the different scales you, you can select major minor minor uh, major six minor seven whatever you select and then when you select that scale you're locked into it so right now it's turned off you can turn it on and then your white keys will be locked to that scale and finally we have an arpeggio which is also a, a sequencer or step sequencer so it really uh, different ways to play several notes so we have right here the drop down so it's set to arpeggio but you can uh, go with thrill and that's pretty much it for the user interface it might change between the instruments let's try another instrument this is the bass trombone let's have a listen Now you always have the key ranges for whatever instrument you're, you're using and different instruments will have different register. I mean, the tubas might be lower in the keyboard, the trumpets be higher in the keyboard. Let's try another one. Let's go with the euphonium. euphonium. Right, so you can play with that and have different articulations in your production. And again, we have the same tabs. We have the main, we have the effects, we have the space, we have play assist and the arpeggio or the, the different uh, runs that you can configure. And right now it is set to on, but you can always turn it off, whatever works for you. So now let me show you the ensembles. And we have several of those. So I'm going to go with the first one. So as you can see in contact, we have different color codes for the different instruments. Now, if you want to know exactly which instruments and how they are laid uh, across the keyboard, then we'll go into a new tab that is available in the ensembles, which is the ensemble. And here you can see the different instruments. So we have tubas, we have horns, we have tenor uh, trombones, and we have trumpets. And they are sort of overlapping mostly, and uh, just the tubas on the very far left and the trumpets on the very far right will be soloing, but the others all across will share the keys. But you can definitely set it any way you like because you can see the key ranges right below the uh, meters right here and below the controls, the mixer. <laughs> Let's try another one. And another. And in this one, we can see that we have the euphoniums, we have horns, we have the tenor uh, trombones and trumpets again but it will have different articulations. So we can go into the main page here and we'll see the list of articulations. And that is pretty much it. So if you still have any questions or you want to purchase this instrument, you can go and check it out in my shop. You can contact me directly through 
Facebook or through the website. And I'm also very available in Discord. So I'm going to put all these links in the description of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks and bye bye.